Hello YouTube RJ. Today we're going to have a quick little video of an unboxing and a kind of a check out. Don't know that I can call it a review since I've just got it. Um, uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll post a really short video in a month or so after I've used it some, but I bought myself a new tool for the shop. And these are going to be soldering tweezers I've uh, for surface mount components, resistors and capacitors and such. I've wanted a pair for quite a while, and uh, I picked these up from AliExpress. These weren't expensive as they go. Um, I think I paid about 35 bucks for this. So let's check out what we've got, okay? So your typical cardboard box, you've got, uh, you do have English instructions along with uh, operation instructions, operation manual. So. You know, they do provide it. It's, the uh, brand is, is Yaha, and that is, if you've noticed, that's the soldering station and the soldering vacuum pump. I both both come from them and seem to work pretty good. And I'll set those aside for the moment, finish unboxing here. Let's take a look. First of all, it looks like they gave you a free pair of tweezers. Well, that's a nice little gift to get. And then... We've got uh, a soldering stamp with a sponge for it. That's handy. And, uh, you know, it's it's uh, steel. It uh, seems pretty pretty rigid. Um, you know, it's not not bad. Got a little bit of uh, leaded solder. We've got uh, the tips for it. I'm sure, this is uh, some assembly necessary. What do we got here? I got tip cleaner. That's a uh, nice. And we've got our power cord control box. Set that out of the way. And there's the head of it. So let me uh, let me set this down. Let me get this box moved out of the way. So, you know, not super small, but the ones I was looking at, that doesn't seem to be... Oh, it's already got tips on it. Those are those are spare tips. Oh, that's nice. Um, do not appear to be perfectly lined up. There seems to be some slop in the mechanism. I mean, it's... Not to say there's a problem, it's just... Uh, let me try to... See if I can move the tips. You can adjust the tips. Let me try to get them to align better. Okay, there you go. That's better. Um, so you can adjust how far, I guess, how far they open with this adjustment right here. So you can set them to where they barely open or open wider. Okay. So looks like got a pretty good length of cord from the control box. They consider this portable. So that's nice for me because I'm getting you know the bench is getting full of soldering stuff. And that means when I don't need these, I could put these away. I wouldn't have to have it out on the bench all the time. So we've got a control box here. Uh, on off. Temperature, whether it's Fahrenheit or Celsius. And here's our thermostat. Let's go ahead and open up the stand here. Yeah, for the cost, not bad at all so far. Untie this. Unwrap some wires here. Let me straighten that a little bit. Okay, so that goes into there. So I will go ahead, excuse the reach, I'm going to reach over and plug this in. Fume extractor out, because we know we're going to be testing this in a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of my way and get it ready. Let's go ahead and set this to C. And let's go, I usually run about 360. And let's see how quickly it warms up. Let's go 
a little solder to tin those ends. And we will just warm it up. It says it's warmed up pretty quick. Now whether it's really really that temp yet, I don't know. It will melt melt solder, so it's uh, it's you know whether it's that temp or not. Hit the fan here. I mean, it's up to temp. Okay. Well, that was a pretty quick warm up. Can't complain about that. What I thought I might do is I've got, uh, you might recognize this board. This board is the uh, kit and parts cascode amplifier we built. Thought I would see, let me get a pair of tweezers here. And uh, obviously this would not normally be in the way, it would be out of the way, but let's try this thing out. Let's see if we can remove, easily remove this resistor, R23. I don't know if you can see it. Let, let me do this. Sorry about the adjustment. I'm going to zoom in. All right, let's see if we can, uh, see if we can pull this R23 off of this thing. Oh yeah, getting it to let loose might be more of a problem. That's probably where I have to open up these tweezers. Yeah, get it off there zippity quick. Now, take a little bit of solder off. I'm going to see if I can put it back on with it. That would be the real trick. Okay, one more trick to do. Can we pick this up and put it back on? Yep, probably not the prettiest. Oh, well, pretty good actually. I need some practice, but that's not bad at all. Seems to work pretty good. Not much to talk about. As you can see, it's straightforward. It's small. It's compact. I can see it being a handy tool to add to the to the bench. I can't really give you a full review, but I just wanted to give you a quick box opening. Check it out. See if it seems to work. I'll follow up a little short video with this later on, say a month or so from now when I've had the chance to use it a couple times, and I'll give you all a, you know, how I feel. Right now, it seems to work. It warms up quick. It, you know, I can take parts off, put parts on. Thumbs up at the moment. We'll find out with a little bit of use. So, hey, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, subscribe and like if you would, and we'll see you in the next one.